I believe this is a very very important day. I don't tell in your life, but in your career. To have information, to have knowledge about the path of your career, in order to become, in order to become the biggest officer of the country, Indian Administrative Service Officer, Indian Police Service Officer, Indian Revenue Service Officer, and Indian Foreign Service Officer. So this session, this session. is going to be very helpful for you knowledge point of view information point of view data point of view statistics point of view facts point of view ellaru please concentrate here this particular 1 hour 1 hour 15 minutes of session is going to be very very useful session we properly planned for you we properly thought for you and i am coming here and myself i am vishnu vardhan from hyderabad i am an anthropologist i attended upsc interview three times i am pg in engineering i did my llb and llm as well and i am an ed educator faculty in civil services since last 12 years and this 45 minutes you are going to enjoy that i am going to surely tell you please be patient for another 1 hour 15 minutes or 1 hour 30 minutes the session is orientation session on civil services for 2022 for 2023 for 2024 and for 2025 in this session i am going to explain you about this office which is called as union public service commission constitutional body constitutional body the constitutional bodies are called as the highest institutions of the country the constitutional body which is called as union public service commission how in state there is state kerala state public service commission for the country there will be only one public service commission that public service commission is union public service commission the recruitment for indian administrative service indian police service indian revenue service indian foreign service the allied services of the country will be done by this particular organization will be done by this particular institution called as union public service commission if you become if you are recruited by this union public service commission you are going to work for the nation you are going to work for the nation you are going to work for the nation and you are going to provide a service for the nation you are going to provide the service for the nation you are going to serve the poor you are going to serve the needy you are going to serve the marginalized sections if you get recruited through this in union public service commission the highest body of the country privileges you will get huge respect the society will bend for you recognition will be there you are you will be getting the recognition your family will be getting the recognition your relatives will be getting the recognition your friends will be getting the recognition because of you entering into this particular union public service commissions final selected list your contacts will develop huge job security no one can remove you from the job except the president of india which is rarest of the rare condition that important session i am going to discuss see this much privilege this much service whether you are going to get easily no no anything we will not get easily we have to work for it we have to achieve it why because lifetime achievements are this what is that i am going to discuss in this particular session so in this particular session i am going to discuss about indian administrative service status of indian administrative service officers india the responsibility of ias officers the responsibility of the ias officer you are going to serve the needy you are going to serve the people of the country country is nothing but the people the people are civilians you are going to help the civilians the responsibilities of the ias officers are serving the nation serving the people working for the government making the country at next level working for the welfare of the marginalized sections responsibilities of the ias this year at the youngest of the age all india rank 1 rank 2 rank 3 means enormous people are there 
at the very young age of 21, 22, 23, they are becoming the IAS officers, Indian Administrative Service officers, to serve the nation. Not only that, you can become IPS officer, Indian Police Service officer, Indian Police Service officer, law and order of the country will be under your control, the districts will be under your control, Indian Police Service, the elite service, the highest recruitment status in the police services is IPS. To enter into this IPS, you have to clear the Union Public Service Commission UPSC exam. Status of Indian Revenue Service, customs and indirect tax, now GST is also part of it. Customs, the revenue of the country, how the income is coming, raiding, checking, narcotics, each and every aspect, each and every aspect of the country's revenue is under the control of you, Indian Revenue Service, which is customs and GST and income tax, Indian Revenue Service, two are there, one is income tax, IRS income tax, direct taxes are called as income tax. You are the person who will be responsibility of calculating the income of the nation. You are the person under you a region will be there, under you a territory will be there, the total revenue of that particular territory or the region will be under your control. IRS IT, Indian Revenue Service IT, Indian Revenue Service Customs and GST. This elite services, not only this, Indian Foreign Service, Indian Foreign Service also. You can enter into Indian Foreign Service where you will be becoming the ambassador, where you will be becoming the, you will be becoming the main member of the embassy of the country. Not only this, 23 other services are there. If you get any rank, if you get any rank, you will be becoming one of the serving person for the nation, not only in India, in foreign countries also by the name called as Indian Foreign Service Officer, such a way there are various services are there. In that way, various services are there, which I am going to explain you in this particular session. Indian Administrative Service, Indian Police Service, Indian Revenue Service, Indian Foreign Service. How sir, mujhe bhi banna hai? I also want to become an IAS officer, I also want to become IPS officer, but, the, but I don't know how to become. But I don't know the way, the methodology, the selection methodology, how sir, I am going to help you. I am going to help you in this particular session. Not only me, All India Rank 1 210 Ramit Chinitala is also joining the session very soon. He will also be helping you from Kerala. So please have patience for another 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, Ramit Chinatala will be joining the session and he will be helping you with proper guidance. Before that, I will give you the introduction of the course. I will be giving the introduction of how to enter into the services. So, who is going to have the power to recruit you? So, what is that institution which is going to give you that much huge respect, that much huge privileges, that much huge power? Union Public Service Commission, Union Public Service Commission, this is the body, a constitutional body, the body which is established, the body which is established by the constitution of India which is called as constitutional body, Union Public Service Commission, UPSC, is the body which is helping you, is the body which will be recruiting you, will the body which will be appointing you for this elite services of the country. Not limited to Kerala, not limited to Andhra Pradesh, not limited to Telangana, not limited to Karnataka, across India. You will be serving India. You will be part of India, serving body. You will be part of Indian administration by this recruitment of Union Public Service Commission. This is the original office. If you go to UPSC interview, you have to enter into this UPSC bungalow. Modern, so I want to tell you, listen carefully, your future depends on what you do today and your today has already started and your today has been already started. The information is flowing into you now. I will be also taking your queries at the end of the session. Please make all your queries on a paper. 
write all your doubts on a paper and ask me after the session i will be sitting here for solving all your doubts then only i will close the session but remember that your future depends on what you do today and your journey started from today you are getting the information from today to enter into this elite service of indian administrative service to become part of this indian administrative service to become one of the main person of indian administrative system your future depends on what you do today and your today has already started take my word take my word and your today has already started from this 10:30 am onwards what is the examination model i will be explaining you clearly if you clear this civil services examination if you clear this civil services examination you will be entering into you will be entering into indian administrative service you will be entering into indian police service you will be entering into indian revenue service you will be in entering into indian foreign service you will be entering into indian defense account service this all service you will be having into this all services one by one 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 i will be explaining to you so what are all the services which are there in this upsc one examination which is called as civil services examination csc if you clear the civil services examination one exam will be conducted only one examination which is called a civil services examination and this examination if you clear you can become based upon your rank you can become indian administrative service indian police service indian foreign service indian railway account service indian railway personnel service indian revenue service customs and gst indian revenue service income tax indian ordinance factory services indian post and telecommunication service indian postal service indian corporate law services indian defense account service indian defense estate service indian civil accounts service indian information service railway protection force indian trade service andaman nicobar island pondicherry administrative service andaman nicobar island pondicherry police service total 23 services you can enter based upon your rank your rank will determine so if you don't get ias also some or the other service you will be getting according to your rank and all the services are elite services of the country all the services will drag huge respect huge privilege huge status one examination single examination which is having a pattern of three tier one is prelims other is mains other is interview one is prelims other is mains other is interview if you clear this three if you clear this three if you clear this three you will be entering into this elite services of the country not limited to the kerala state across india you can work in gujarat you can work in maharashtra you can work in rajasthan you can work in northeast india you can work in telangana you can work in karnataka you can work in tamil nadu you can work in pondicherry you can work in andaman nicobar islands every the scope is everywhere wherever you get the posting according to your cadre you have to go and do your services these are all the services these are all the services sir what is the eligibility for ias the charisma of an ias officer the charisma of an ias officer what i have to do what are the eligibility conditions to become an ias officer that i will be discussing in this particular session see eligibility number of attempts syllabus pattern vacancies in this all i will be discussing in this particular session first ias eligibility so listen carefully ias eligibility maximum age for general candidate maximum age for general candidate is 32 years and maximum attempt you can give is 6 attempts before 2014 it was only 4 attempts but now they increase it to 2 so maximum chances you have to attempt is 6 chances and the maximum age you can attempt is 32 years for a general after 32 years you don't have chance to write the examination this is for general candidate other backward classes obcs backward classes backward castes obcs they can write up to 35 years 
and maximum attempt they can give is 6 is general, 6 plus 3, 6 plus 3 is 9 attempts for OBC. If you are a backward class, if you are a BC, you will be having 9 attempts. If you are SC or ST, if you are SC or ST, the maximum age is 7, so unlimited attempts up to 37. Up to 37, how many attempts you want, you can write. Minimum age to attempt is 21 years. Minimum age to attempt is 21 years. When you are 21 years and you are in the last year of your engineering or you are, you are in the last year of graduation, you can give, you can apply, you can attempt for the examination. In the last year also you can attempt, in the final year also you can attempt, as well as when you complete your degree also you can attempt. So general category is 32, maximum attempt 6. OBC 35, maximum attempts 9. Maximum age for SCST 37 and no limits. Up to 37 years, how many ever you want, you can attempt. For disabled, 42 years for disabled, physically disabled. 42 attempts, sorry, 42 years, unlimited attempts. 42 is the maximum age. This is the qualification. So, minimum age should be 21. If you are in the final year of graduation, you can give your attempt. After completion of your graduation, you can give your attempt. General candidate is 32, general OC, 32, 6 attempts, OBC, 35, 9 attempts, SCST, 37, unlimited attempts, still 37 only, till 37 years and disabled, physically disabled, 42 years, unlimited attempts. How much reservation percentage, sir? What is the reservation percentage? If you see here, the reservation percentage, if reservation category is there, listen carefully. If you are ST, you will have 7.5 percentage of reservation. Means that particular part of posts, means for example, if 200 posts are there, compulsory 15 posts should be filled by ST category only. By ST category only. SC. 15 percent reservation. Means I will take an example. If number of posts, are 200, then compulsory ST should be 15. Why? Because 7.5. If number of posts are 200, if SC is 15 percent, means compulsory SC should be 30. OBC 27 percentage. OBC is compulsory OBC should be 27 percentage. 54 should be OBCs. EWS now within the general category, they are economically poor sections are there. So, 10 percent are for general category also who are economically poor, who are very, very poor, who are below poverty line, who are in general category, economically weaker sections, 10 percent. So, out of 200 means 20. So, 59.50 is a reservation and the merit is 40.50 percent. Means, means here 109, so overall it is 109 will be reservations and 91 will be out of 200 posts will be, it will be general. So this is a reservation category, ST 7.5, SC 15 percent, OBC 27 percent, economically weaker section 10, overall 59.50 is reservations, only merit is 40.5 percent. This is the reservation, how they will be calculating in civil services examination. So, if you are ST, compulsory reservation. If you are SC, compulsory reservation. If you are OBC, compulsory reservation. If you are economically weaker section, compulsory. Other than they, they will come under merit which is 40.5 percentage. This is for information. 10 percent reservation from 2019, they gave reservation for general category also, who are below poverty line. Some criteria are there. If they fulfill this criteria, they will be getting 10 percent reservation also for general category, which is called as economical weaker section. What is the criteria in our YouTube channel? What is the criteria for economically weaker sections? What is the criteria for OBC non creamy layer? Reservations will be for OBC non creamy layer. What is the criteria? I made a video. You can see in our YouTube channel as well. So, this is civil services exam pattern. This is civil services examination pattern, prelims examination will be there, first you will be having prelims, 
those who qualify prelims they will be writing mains those who qualify mains they will be writing they will be attending interview so prelims is only qualifying in nature prelims is only qualifying in nature if you qualify prelims then only you are able to write mains when you qualify mains you will be attending upsc interview the rank will be calculated based upon mains marks and interview marks not on prelims marks prelims is just a line you have to cross the line if you cross the line then you will be getting the opportunity to write the mains examination mains examination is descriptive whereas prelims examination is objective objective type we have to tick the correct answer prelims examination in prelims you will be having two papers one is general studies other is csat mcq test multiple choice questions test objective type of test will be there csat which is english comprehension quantitative aptitude reasoning will be there general studies you will be having indian polity indian geography indian economy indian history you will be have science and technology environment current affairs will be there in your prelims if you clear prelims if you clear prelims then you will be allowed to write mains then you are allowed to write mains in mains you are having in mains you are having seven papers in mains you are having seven papers first paper is essay paper 250 marks essay paper two essays will be asked you have to write elaborately essay another three papers are gs1 gs2 gs3 gs1 is history and geography and indian society gs2 is polity and international relations gs3 is economy science and technology and environment so this is gs papers and gs4 is ethics in order to imbibe ethics if you become an ias officer you will be having lot of money under you so you have to be uncorrupted means you should be ethically strong you should be morally strong so ethics paper is there under gs4 so first is essay paper gs1 gs2 gs3 then gs4 paper is ethics paper exclusive ethics paper so this five papers are generally called as general studies which are compulsory for everyone those ever whoever clears the prelims everyone should write this five papers general essay gs1 gs2 gs3 and gs4 which is called as ethics 250 250 250 250 250 250, 250 into 5 1250 marks all the aspirants who cleared the prelims should write this mains examination see one essay paper four gs papers then another two papers will be there i told seven so general essay gs1 gs2 gs3 and gs4 is ethics and other two papers are optional very 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 important optional paper we have to choose specifically we have to choose n number of optionals are there 20 and more optionals are there more than 20 optionals are there anthropology geography public administration malayalam literature likewise more than 20 to 25 optionals are there more than 25 optionals are there in the two papers will be there paper 1 and paper 2 you have to master optional so overall mains paper will be for seven papers for calculating the rank so mains paper optional also will be two papers each paper will be for 250 marks 250 into 2 500 marks 250 into 2 500 marks overall it is 1250 plus 500 which is 1750 marks 1750 marks your selection depends upon this seven papers 250 250 250 250 250 250, 250 and 250 250 into 7 1750 and two qualifying papers will be there one basic english paper one basic malayalam paper vernacular language if you are from kerala you will be writing malayalam paper if you are from telugu you will be writing telugu paper very very basic very basic telugu paper will be there that is only qualifying but not for determining the rank so overall seven papers will be determining your so two qualifying language papers english and malayalam or telugu one essay paper four gs papers two optional papers all are descriptive 
answers all are descriptive if you clear this means you will enter into personality test you will go to that upsc building in that upsc building in delhi the people elders the knowledgeable people the senior bureaucrats of the country will be interviewing you for 30 to 40 minutes about your personality about your knowledge about your, about your subject about your skill about your attitude about your ethics the personality test will happen for 275 marks so overall 75 1750 for mains and 275 for interview and you are becoming an ias officer or not will be for 2025 marks this is the final marks which will be determining your rank it might be the sritu ss my student from kerala who is in now labasana lal bahadur shastri national academy for administration now she is getting training or it might be the reena pradhan it might be ramit chintala anyone who got into the rank now based upon this marks only based upon this marks only they are now into the services so finally merit to be decided based on total marks of mains plus interview 2025 if you have 2025 then whether you are an ias or an ips will be decided this is the exam pattern of upsc this is the exam pattern so prelims is qualifying nature only your rank is determined by your mains as well as your interview prelims will be for one day mains will be for five days morning evening morning evening morning evening with holidays in between one day interview this is the pattern for what for the success for the success to make your family proud to make your parents proud to make your college proud not only college to make your school where you study to proud to make your school or your college to make your photo on the wall of the school this is the pattern see prelims g paper 1 paper 2 will be there paper 1 will be general studies paper 2 will be csat aptitude paper this is civil services aptitude paper reasoning english comprehension aptitude quantitative aptitude will be there and gs papers polity economy geography history will be there in mains you will be having language paper i told you malayalam or telugu or any hindi language according to your vernacular language only qualifying nature and english paper will be there only qualifying nature other than this sa paper general studies 1 general studies 2 general studies 3 general studies 4 is ethics then optional subject 1 and optional subject 2 overall how many papers seven papers seven into 250 is equal to 1750 if you clear this you will go for interview 275 so overall it is for 2025 this is the exam pattern this is the syllabus of upsc what are the subjects there sir what are the subjects there what are the subjects there yes these are the subjects this is general science this is indian polity this is current affairs this is economy this is geography this is history these all are there in your preparation this you have to study current affairs you have to follow history you have to follow geography you have to follow economy you have to follow indian polity you have to follow general science you have to follow this is your syllabus okay for general studies i will be following polity history geography economy current affairs fine sir sir how many optionals are there what are the optionals available yes anthropology economics geography history philosophy political science and international relations psychology public administration sociology law commerce and accountancy management not only that engineering also you can take civil engineering electrical engineering mechanical engineering only three are there electronics and communication engineering and computer science is not there civil engineering electrical engineering and mechanical engineering medical science agriculture animal husbandry veterinary science botany chemistry geology mathematics physics geology statistics geology geology 
not only this literature papers you will be having see here malayalam literature hindi paper telugu paper telugu literature malayalam literature hindi literatures also there from this from this abundant optionals one optional you have to take from this abundant optional one optional you have to take for the two papers your rank determining will depend upon this optional optional deciding optional is very very important in cracking the examination a candidate has to choose one optional subject there will be two papers of optional subjects and each paper will be of 250 marks this is optional paper these many optionals are there sir which optional i have to take these many optionals are there which optional i have to take we have to be very careful we are choosing why because essay paper general studies 1 general studies 2 general studies 3 are common for everyone general studies for ethics paper is common for everyone so this five papers are everyone should prepare no choice but you have choice in optional this many optionals are there this many optionals are there from this optional you have to choose only one optional and that optional will have two papers and how to choose that optional sir result oriented you have to be result oriented result oriented previous years performance which optional is performing well which optional is more scoring which optional is easy for engineering students which optional is easy for science students which optional is easy for yes mainly how the performance is there last 4 to 5 years which optional is performing well for example last few years anthropology is working well and public administration is working well and and some literature papers are working well means scoring well so based upon the result oriented you have to choose your optional you have to do you have to go to the upsc website the upsc website is www.upsc.gov.in this is the government website not my website this is government website please go to this website you will get the list of all the information which i am telling this all information i took from this website government website upsc.gov.in annual reports will be there you check annual reports of upsc which optional is performing well from that optional the result oriented optional not only that interest also which subject is interest for example if you want to study about the society you want to know about the marriage system if you want to know about the economy system if you want to know about the political system if you want to work for tribal people if you want to work for sc people if you want to work for development of the poor people then anthropology is the best optional in that way you have to choose your if you want to know about engineering electrical engineering you want to do some electrical work then you have to do you have to take electrical engineering in that way very carefully you have to choose your it should be simple and easy again it should not be complex it should not be complex it should be easy and simple optional should be simple and easy answer writing my dear students this is descriptive this is descriptive paper so you have to have answer writing practice on daily basis answer writing practice should be there every day easy to do revision what we come across in our daily life yes so what we come across in our daily life we have to think that should be in our optional preparation for example what i am seeing daily i am seeing discrimination on women i am seeing discrimination on sc st minorities so in which optional this is present where this present i want to develop the nation i want to provide welfare to the people in which optional this is present in that way you have to choose your option you have to take lot of criteria interest which subject is creating interest in you which optional is creating interest in you that optional you have to choose these are the criteria which you have to keep in your mind these are the criteria which you have to keep in your mind well yes sir when to start a newspaper a common doubt when to start newspaper whether hindu newspaper or indian express newspaper if you decided if you decided sir i am going to prepare for civil services either i am going to join any academy or i am going to join any mentor or i am going to do self preparation whatever it may be if you decided from today from today you have to read the newspaper you might be in engineering first year you might be in engineering second year you might be in engineering third year you might be in engineering final year you might be completed your medicine you might be completed your graduation 
you have to start now newspaper reading is very important for the sake of knowledge seeking for the sake of information ga gaining for the sake of data development so if you if you want to know when you want to start the newspaper this is the right time today is the right time start by take hindu newspaper or you take indian express any newspaper malayala manorama any newspaper malayalam also no problem you shall you shall start reading you shall start reading you will be getting knowledge you will be understanding what is happening in the society what is happening across the world what is happening in ukraine now a proxy war like situation is happening between the russia and the nato what happened in north korea they tested very strong ballistic missile few days back what is happening in india uttar pradesh and punjab elections are happening you want to know about everything across india not only about the kerala everything about india read national papers i recommend you read national papers i recommend you read national newspaper any newspaper start from today start from now after the session start the newspaper if you decided that yes i am going to write the upsc examination and i am going to become the ias officer means you have to start the newspaper right now the newspaper reading is most important so this is the pattern of examination so now i am going to hand my baton i am going to hand my baton to the charming ramit chinnatala the irs officer irs officer all india rank 210 very down to earth very good gentleman i am proud to be associated with him now he is the assistant commissioner of earlier he worked in bangalore now he got transferred to shivamogga karnataka a kind hearted person from your own land kerala and i am giving him the baton he will discuss for 15 to 20 minutes then again i will take and i will finish it off and i am very happy to share the screen with him so uh, uh, just just a brief a brief about me um, for those of you who don't know my name is ramit i cleared in uh, 2018 i'm a 2018 batch irs officer ipo in the posting uh, shimoga la karnataka la shimoga രണ്ടായിരത്തി കഴിഞ്ഞ വർഷം ട്രെയിനിങ് അവസാനിപ്പിച്ചതിന് ശേഷം ഞാൻ കർണാടക ഗോവ റീജിയനിൽ ആദ്യത്തെ പോസ്റ്റിംഗ് എഴുതി കൊടുത്തു അത് എന്നെ കിട്ടുകയും ചെയ്തു ഐ വെരി ഗ്ലാഡ് ഐ ഗോട്ട് മൈ ഫസ്റ്റ് ചോയ്സ് സോ ഐ വാസ് മൈ മൈ ടാസ്ക് മൈ ഒബ്ജക്റ്റീവ് ഫോർ ദ ഡേ ഇസ് ടു ഗിവ് യു എ ബ്രീഫ് ഓൺ യു നോ വാട്ട് ദ പ്രേപ്പറേഷൻ ഇസ് ഓൾ അബൌട്ട് വിഷ്ണു സർ യു മൈ പ്ലീസ് ഇന്റർജെക്ട് മീ ഇൻ ഇൻ കേസ് യു വോണ്ട് മീ ടു വാട്ട് സംതിങ് so uh, if i'm not wrong i have to speak for uh, the next uh, 20 odd minutes give you a brief on the preparation strategy and uh, why you should be a civil servant uh, most importantly ningal ellavarum final year and third year students aayirikkum ennu yan vishwasikkunnu anyway yan college yan ende college padanam marbeselius college la irunnu thiruvananthapuram yan oru civil computer science engineer aanu കോളേജിൽ നിന്ന് രണ്ടായിരത്തി പതിനാലിൽ പാസ് ഔട്ട് ആയതിനു ശേഷം ഞാൻ ക്യാമ്പസ് റിക്രൂട്ട്മെന്റ് വഴി നാലഞ്ച് ജോലി കിട്ടി പക്ഷെ എനിക്ക് ഐ ടി ഇൻഡസ്ട്രിയിലോട്ട് കടക്കാൻ വലിയൊരു താല്പര്യം ഉണ്ടായിരുന്നില്ല അന്ന് അങ്ങനെയാണ് ഞാൻ സിവിൽ സർവീസ് പരീക്ഷ ഒന്ന് എഴുതി നോക്കാം എന്ന് വിചാരിച്ച് എഴുതി തുടങ്ങുന്നത് പക്ഷെ മിക്ക സിവിൽ സർവീസിനെ പോലെ ഞാൻ ചെറുപ്പം മുതലേ കൊണ്ട് നടന്ന ഒരു സ്വപ്നം ആയിരുന്നില്ല ഈ പറഞ്ഞ പോലെ കോളേജ് പഠനത്തിന് ശേഷം എനിക്ക് എന്റെ മനസ്സിൽ തോന്നിയൊരു ആഗ്രഹം മാത്രമായിരുന്നു പക്ഷെ പഠിച്ച് തുടങ്ങിയതിന് ശേഷം ഐ വാസ് വെരി ഹാപ്പി ഐ ഗോട്ട് ടു ലേൺ എ ലോട്ട് ആൻഡ് ഇവൻച്വലി വെൻ ഐ ഗോട്ട് ടു ക്ലിയർ ഇൻ മൈ തേർഡ് അറ്റംപ്റ്റ് ഐ വാസ് വെരി കണ്ടെന്റ് ആൻഡ് ഈവൻ ടുഡേ മൈ ഈവൻ ടുഡേ ആസ് എസ് എൻ ഐ ആർ എസ് ഓഫീസർ ആൻഡ് കറന്റ്ലി പോസ്റ്റ് അസിസ്റ്റന്റ് കമ്മീഷണർ ഇയർ ഇൻ ഷിമോഗ ഇറ്റ്സ് എ വെരി ബ്യൂട്ടിഫുൾ ജോബ് ഇറ്റ്സ് എ വെരി ഹെക്ടിക് ലൈഫ് ബട്ട് ഐ തിങ്ക് വി ഓൾ ഡിസയർ ദാറ്റ് ദിസ് ഇസ് വൈ വി റൈറ്റ് ദി എക്സാമിനേഷൻ ടു ഹാവ് ക്വൈറ്റ് ആൻഡ് ഹെക്ടിക് ലൈഫ് ആൻഡ് to help people to serve people to be a government servant by the very definition of that term uh, preparation strategy uh, major right nammu ee parna pole common aayittu ellarkku ariyana karyangal thaneyanu newspaper 
വായനയിലൂടെ തന്നെ തുടങ്ങുന്നു നമ്മള് നമ്മുടെ പൊതുവിജ്ഞാനം ജനറൽ നോളജ് നന്നായിട്ട് കൂട്ടണം ഒരുപാട് പുസ്തകങ്ങൾ വായിക്കണം ഒരുപാട് പറ്റുവാണെങ്കിൽ അവസരം കിട്ടുവാണെങ്കിൽ സിവിൽ സർവൻസ് ആയിട്ടൊക്കെ ഒന്ന് ഇന്ററാക്ട് ചെയ്യണം ചെയ്യണം വിഷ്ണു സാറിനെ പോലത്തെ നല്ല ഫാക്കൽറ്റീസ് ഭയങ്കര കമ്മിറ്റഡ് ആയിട്ടുള്ള ഒരു ഫാക്കൽറ്റിയാണ് പറയാതെ വയ്യ ഞാനത് വിഷ്ണു സാറിനെ നേരിട്ട് അറിയാവുന്നതുകൊണ്ടാണ് ഈ പറയുന്നത് ഇത് വെരി കമ്മിറ്റഡ് ഇൻഡിവിജ്വൽ സോ കോൾഡ് റേസ് കോൾഡ് സിവിൽ സർവീസസ് ബിക്കംസ് യുനോ ഓൾ ദ മോർ ഈസിയർ ഇഫ് യു ഹാവ് ഫാക്കൽറ്റീസ് ലൈക്ക് ഹിം ടു സപ്പോർട്ട് യു മെന്റോർസ് ലൈക്ക് യു ലൈക്ക് ഹിം ടു സപ്പോർട്ട് യു വിച്ച് ഇസ് വെരി ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻറ്റ് so like i was saying a newspaper reading is perhaps the most important aspect but in addition to that you also have to begin with uh, understanding what the upsc exam is adu kondu adinte syllabus kaiya varshathe previous year questions okku nokkanam ningal optional subject valare samayam eduthu onnu rendu maasu okke idinu vendi chelavaakiyalum thettilla samayam eduthu thanne thirumanikkanda oru kaaryam aanu optional subject pakshe optional subject oru thavana choose cheythu kanyal pinne നിങ്ങളുടെ നിങ്ങൾക്ക് എത്ര ഫസ്റ്റ് അറ്റംപ്റ്റിൽ തന്നെ നിങ്ങൾ എല്ലാവരും ക്ലിയർ ചെയ്യട്ടെ എന്ന് ഞാൻ ആഗ്രഹിക്കുന്നു പക്ഷെ ഇൻ കേസ് നിങ്ങൾക്ക് ഫസ്റ്റ് അറ്റംപ്റ്റിൽ ക്ലിയർ ചെയ്യാൻ സാധിച്ചില്ലെങ്കിൽ കൂടി രണ്ടാമത്തെയോ മൂന്നാമത്തെയോ അറ്റംപ്റ്റിൽ നിങ്ങളുടെ ഓപ്ഷണൽ സബ്ജക്റ്റ് മാറ്റാതെ ഇരിക്കണം കാരണം അതാണ് അതിന്റെ ഒരു അഡ്വാൻറ്റേജ് കാരണം നിങ്ങൾ മണിക്കൂറുകളോളം ഒരു അറ്റംപ്റ്റിന് വേണ്ടി തന്നെ നിങ്ങൾ ഓപ്ഷണൽ സബ്ജക്ട് വായിക്കാൻ അഞ്ഞൂറിന് മേൽ മണിക്കൂറുകൾ സ്പെൻഡ് ചെയ്യും വീണ്ടും ഒരു പുതിയ സബ്ജക്റ്റ് എടുക്കുവാണെങ്കിൽ ഒന്നേന്ന് പഠിച്ചു തുടങ്ങുക എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് വളരെ ബുദ്ധിമുട്ടേറിയൊരു സംഭവമാണ് അതുകൊണ്ട് ഓപ്ഷണൽ സബ്ജക്ട് ഒക്കെ ഏത് ഓപ്ഷണൽ സബ്ജക്ട് എടുക്കുന്നു എന്നത് നിർണായകമാണ് നിങ്ങളുടെ ഇൻട്രസ്റ്റ് വെച്ചിട്ട് തന്നെ എടുക്കണം അല്ലാതെ ഒരു പെർട്ടിക്കുലർ സബ്ജക്ടിന് മാർക്ക് കൂടുതലാണ് ഇപ്പോൾ അല്ലെങ്കിൽ മറ്റു സബ്ജക്ടിന് മാർക്ക് കുറവാണെന്ന് വിചാരിച്ചുകൊണ്ട് മാത്രം എടുക്കരുത് അതൊരു ഘടകമാണ് അല്ലാതെ ഞാൻ പറയുന്നില്ല പക്ഷെ എങ്കിലും നിങ്ങളെ ഫസ്റ്റ് പ്രയോറിറ്റി നിങ്ങൾക്ക് ഇഷ്ടമുള്ള നിങ്ങൾക്ക് ഇൻട്രസ്റ്റ് ഉള്ള ഒരു സബ്ജക്ട് ആയിരിക്കണം നിങ്ങൾ ഓപ്ഷണൽ ആയിട്ട് എടുക്കേണ്ടത് അപ്പൊ ഞാൻ നേരത്തെ പറഞ്ഞതുപോലെ ന്യൂസ് പേപ്പർ ആയി സിലബസ് പ്രീവിയസ് ഇയർ ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻസ് അതുകൂടാതെ നിങ്ങളുടെ ഓപ്ഷൻ സബ്ജക്ട് ബാക്കിയുള്ള പഠനമൊക്കെ നിങ്ങൾ ഈ പറഞ്ഞ പോലെ ഏതെങ്കിലും അക്കാഡമിയിലൊക്കെ ജോയിൻ ചെയ്യുവാണെങ്കിൽ തീർച്ചയായിട്ടും നിങ്ങൾക്ക് നല്ലൊരു ഗൈഡൻസ് കിട്ടും ഒരുപാട് ടോപ്പേഴ്സിന്റെ ബ്ലോഗ്സും വീഡിയോസും ഒക്കെ യൂട്യൂബിലും ഇന്റർനെറ്റിലും ഒക്കെ അവൈലബിൾ ആണ് ഇതൊക്കെ വായിച്ചു നോക്കിയാൽ തന്നെ നിങ്ങൾക്ക് നല്ലൊരു ഐഡിയ കിട്ടും എങ്ങനെയാണ് പഠിച്ചു പോകേണ്ടത് അല്ലാതെ എനിക്ക് ഈ ഇരുപത് മിനിറ്റ് കൊണ്ട് പറഞ്ഞു തീർക്കാവുന്ന ഒരു കാര്യമല്ല യു പി എസ് സി പ്രിപ്പറേഷൻ അതുകൂടാതെ ഇതിനെല്ലാം ഉപരി ഏറ്റവും പ്രധാനപ്പെട്ട ഒരു വേറൊരു കാര്യം നിങ്ങളുടെ മെന്റൽ സ്റ്റെബിലിറ്റി ആണ് ഇത് ഏകദേശം യു പി എസ് സി എക്സാമിനെ ഒരുപക്ഷെ ലോകത്തിലെ തന്നെ ഏറ്റവും ബുദ്ധിമുട്ടേറിയ ഒരു പരീക്ഷ എന്ന് വിളിക്കാൻ കാരണം ഇതിന്റെ ടൈം ഡ്യൂറേഷൻ ഏകദേശം രണ്ട് കൊല്ലം ഉണ്ട് എന്നുള്ളതാണ് ഇതിന് മൂന്ന് ഘടകമാണ് ഉള്ളത് അറിയണം പ്രിലിമിനറി മെയിൻസ് അതുകൂടാതെ അവസാനം ഇന്റർവ്യൂ ഈ മൂന്ന് സ്റ്റേജും ഉള്ളത് കൊണ്ട് ഏത് സ്റ്റേജിൽ നിങ്ങൾ ഫെയിൽ ചെയ്യ ഫെയിൽ ആയാലും നിങ്ങൾക്ക് ഒന്നേന്ന് വീണ്ടും തുടങ്ങാം അതായത് നിങ്ങൾ പ്രിലിമിനറി പാസ് ആവാൻ സാധിച്ചില്ലെങ്കിൽ അല്ലെങ്കിൽ മെയിൻസ് പാസ് ആവാൻ സാധിച്ചില്ലെങ്കിൽ ഫൈനലി ഇന്റർവ്യൂവിലെത്തി എന്നിട്ടും നിങ്ങൾക്ക് ക്ലിയർ ചെയ്യാൻ സാധിച്ചില്ലെങ്കിൽ വീണ്ടും ഒന്നേന്ന് നിങ്ങൾക്ക് പഠിച്ചു തുടങ്ങി പ്രിലിമിനറി മുതലേ നിങ്ങൾക്ക് എഴുതി തുടങ്ങാം അത് പോട്ടെ നിങ്ങൾ ഫൈനലി ക്ലിയർ ചെയ്തു വന്നിരിക്കട്ടെ പക്ഷെ നിങ്ങൾ ആഗ്രഹിച്ച സർവീസ് കിട്ടിയില്ലെങ്കിൽ കൂടി നിങ്ങൾ വീണ്ടും ഒന്നേന്ന് എഴുതി തുടങ്ങാം അതാണ് ഒരു പക്ഷെ ഈ പരീക്ഷ ഇത്രയും കഠിനമാവാൻ കാരണം അപ്പൊ നിങ്ങളുടെ മെന്റൽ സ്റ്റെബിലിറ്റി നിങ്ങളുടെ ഒരു ഒരു മോട്ടിവേഷൻ ലെവൽ ഇപ്പോഴും പീക്കില് ആക്കിയെടുക്കാൻ ഏറ്റവും നല്ലൊരു അഡ്വൈസ് എനിക്ക് തരാമെങ്കിൽ ആ വാക്ക് എനിക്ക് ഉപയോഗിക്കാമെങ്കിൽ എന്റെ ഒരു ഹംബിൾ ആയിട്ടുള്ള അഡ്വൈസ് എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് ഡൂ ഇറ്റ് ഫോർ യുവർ സെൽഫ് ദിസ് ഇസ് യുവർ ലൈഫ് യു ഷുഡ് നോട്ട് ഡൂ ദിസ് ഫോർ എനിബഡി എൽസ് ദിസ് ഇസ് യുവർ ലൈഫ് you should not start preparing for upsc simply because you found your uh, friends preparing or your parents told you there is societal pressure kindly don't do that because this is a very serious profession um, once you clear the examination once you hold the tag called civil services uh, a mere signature of yours has a huge amount of value it can affect thousands of people one signature can affect thousands of people's
Masuri. The other group went to Hyderabad and a small group went to Bhopal. So I got an opportunity to go to Bhopal. We were 90 of us. Uh, the uh, Hyderabad and uh, Masuri, on the other hand, had over 300 people. But whatever it is, uh, we got to interact with other service people. We made a lot of friendship. But even the advantage in the Parayama, the foundation course will be in India, Jammu and Kashmir, Kerala, Gujarat, Arnasal Pradesh, where you are in the world. At the same time, you are professional friends. You are in your professional life, personal life, in the Sahaya Manangalam. All you need to do is make a phone call. Now, I'm not saying this as a, um, you know, uh, how should I say, as, as a selfish thing. But on a positive note, uh, if you really want to help people, the general public, this contact, this, this, this so-called, these so-called relationships really matter. So, we are social beings. Okay. So, we are social beings. So, we are in the professional life and personal life. Sahai can do it. That's why we have the IRS training, National Academy of Direct Taxes and the Barangari Institution of Nagpur Lana Maharashtri. We have an institution in India, Bhutan, and Tamil, a collaboration with a professional treaty. We have a revenue service officer in the batch. We have a lot of revenue service officers in India, and we have a lot of revenue service officers. Which is a very beautiful thing. It's, a, it's, a, it's an aspect of international relations wherein they are trained, uh, uh, you know, they get to train with us and we get to interact with them. We get to know a lot about their culture. And training 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 in the uh, you get to know how to start thinking like an officer, which is very important. Uh, so this is uh, majorly about uh, the Indian Revenue Services. So we basically deal with uh, income tax. Okay. So the IRS on that. IRS income tax lana. And the IRS IRS customs on. Yeah. And direct tax or indirect tax on that. We are not going to do We deal with direct taxes, income tax. You know okay. ITR, income tax returns file involved. That is assessed as a yuga. primary objective. But if you have a high-five, you can get a high-five. Enforcement directorate, directorate of revenue intelligence. There are many bodies. This is the income tax IRS. If you have a deputation in the central government, the state government, on an average, you get around 30 to 34 uh, years of uh, service. If you have a service, you can get a reward. In India, you can get a reward. You can get a reward. You can get a financial sector technically employed. Income tax is a financial sector. If I keep on focusing on improving my intellectual prowess in this arena, tomorrow, you never know, you know, where you uh, get opportunities. I, you know, we can get go to um, um, the United Nations. We can go to World Bank and other financial institutions abroad. Um, opportunities are plenty. Uh, trust me, it's all about looking. You know, having the right perspective and just going behind it. Uh, but that's all from my side. Um, you know, all the very best, uh, Vishnu sir. Uh, so this is what I wanted to say. Uh, because you told me to speak for 20 minutes, I thought uh, I'd give a brief on my reparation and also where I stand, how my service is. I hope I've covered most of uh, the things. In case there's anything else particularly that you want me to speak on, I'll... Yes, a uh, couple of students, a uh, couple of students has asked a um, couple of questions. First question is, uh, the young aspirants, when they have to start their preparation? Okay, good question. When you have to start preparation, ideally, I would say, uh, technically, you have to be a graduate to appear for the examination. Like I said, there are two kinds of people. One, uh, the first kind are the people who hold this dream of being a civil servant from their early childhood. Two are the kind of people like me who accidentally fall into civil services. <laughs> uh, so, uh, either, you know, in, in either case, I would say in the first case anyway, because it's, it's your childhood dream, you would anyway be preparing from the very beginning. But in my case, I would say for people like me, 
uh, I would say if you can think of preparing probably in the final year of your college because technically you are supposed to be a graduate and also you have to be 21 years old to appear for the examination. About Ningle, um, the, the minimum number of years that you would require to uh, be a graduate is, let's say, three years. So, if you, on an average, if I'm saying you, you get into college at the age of 20, uh, at the age of 18, so by 21, you would pass out of your college. So, at the age, uh, you know, as you enter your final semester or probably your final year, that is when you can start preparing without affecting your college studies much. So that uh, you give your first attempt immediately after you pass out of college. And uh, you, God knows uh, if you're lucky, you can clear your first attempt and you can be an IS officer at the age of uh, 21. <laughs> so, and, and Vishnu sir would uh, certainly be knowing a lot many people who have actually done that. You know, uh, I cleared at the age of 26. But there are actually people who, are, uh, who have cleared at the age of 21. Who, you know, they would end up getting 39 years of service. So just, just a... Just a um, you know, uh, just for your information and give a fact, uh, perhaps uh, in the history of um, uh, post-independence India, uh, there are very few people who have got 40 years or four decades of service. And one such individual is Mr. Shiv Shankar Menon, who uh, got into the service at the age of 20 and he got 40 years of service and he retired, uh, you know, after uh, completing that. So it's a, it's a fantastic arena. So this is the, like I said, to just to concise. The best time to prepare is probably um, in your last year of college. Yes. And one more question. Uh, what should be the criteria to choose an optional? Um, uh, two, two criteria. Number one, like I said, uh, is it's your personal uh, inclination yes. towards the subject. Uh, if um, For engineering graduates, uh, UPSC provides only three subjects. One is civil engineering, mechanical and electrical engineering. So people like me who don't fall in either of the three, they can't anyway appear. But personally, I would say, um, you know, it would be good if you could go for a social science subject like anthropology uh, or, or a public administration or a sociology. Uh, social science subjects will help you understand how the society works. Uh, and it is a subject which you can study irrespective of your, uh, of your uh, uh, graduation or your background. So that's my personal opinion, but you are free to take your choice. Uh, so, number one, I would say is your personal inclination. And uh, second is just go through the exam, the uh, previous year question papers and also try to find a mentor. For instance, uh, for anthropology, uh, Vishnu sir would be the right guy. So, you can speak to him. Okay. Even though I have also been a mentee under him, uh, I chose a subject. He would also agree to that only after I was convinced that I can put in my wholehearted effort into that. So, it's your personal, it's your choice. But once you make that decision, don't look back. That's all. So find the right mentor and uh, have a personal inclination and uh, then go for the subject and then don't look back. Start studying. Sure. Thank you, Ramit. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, sir. It was a pleasure talking to everybody. Allah uh, Please be safe. Uh, COVID, it's the third wave. It's anyway not going to go away anytime soon. Uh, wish you all the best, sir. All the best. Thank you so much. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. So, I am telling you, so some students are having some questions that, sir, when I have to start my preparation, you know, your eligibility to write the examination will be at the age from 21, that is 100 percent sure. So, if you are 18 or 19 or 20, from now onwards, you have to start reading newspaper, buying some magazines. 40 rupees, 20 rupees, 30 rupees magazines. You have to know about what is happening across India. Small, small answer writing you have to do. Like what is democracy? What is republicanism? What is secularism? In that way, small, small things you have to start writing. Then you will be into the flow. Why? Because I know in engineering or in medical science or some other places, anywhere you do graduation, we are not that much focused about writing answers. We are not that much focused about descriptiveness. But it, in civil services examination, everything is answer writing, everything is sentence formation. How much better you will be writing the answers like democracy is for the people, to the people, by the people. In that way, how we will be writing the answers, in the same way, we should be in a position to write the answers. So, in civil services examination, if someone asks me, sir, what is the secret of success? Means I will tell only one mantra, that mantra is... Writing answers, writing answers, 
writing answers but in this particular session i am also going to tell you one thing in this particular session also i am going to tell you one thing consistency and commitment this much big examination this much tough examination this much high privilege examination if you want to crack you have to be consistent you have to be consistent and you have to be very much committed yes today i am going to study for 10 hours today i am going to study for 8 hours yes if you want to if you planned today that if you are going to study for 8 hours you have to study for 8 hours if you planned that you are studying for 10 hours you have to study for 10 hours consistency is what is required commitment is what is required consistency and commitment very rigid stubborn attitude should be there i came into the civil services i will go out with the rank i told in my house i will be preparing for civil services again i will see my house means you have to visit the houses but with rank only i will be coming back in that way you should have consistency in that way you should have commitment so it's a great session by ramit so i hope uh i go i i hope you got very good insights i also felt very happy you, i think you also got the necessary uh, points so two questions were been asked through direct message here number one whether coaching is necessary i will tell you coaching is not necessary yes but when it is necessary means if you want to crack in the very first attempt and the teacher is very much accessible where the teacher is going to take the responsibility the teacher when he the teacher is going to be accountable then there is a requirement of going for mentorship but not coaching coaching is not good go for mentorship take the teacher as your mentor and once if you are decided then you can move on with that number 1 i want to tell you number 2 i will tell you if you want to crack in very first attempt that is 21 years if you are a btech graduate second year if you are a btech graduate third year the preparation strategy should start from second year if you start at second year third year you will be doing the revision and fourth year you will be attempting and in the very first attempt of 21 years you will be becoming the ias or ips officer lot of officers are there in that way so never late never do late once if you get the rank you will be enjoying your life like anything so nothing is late so before i conclude i will give you some points be consistent and commitment have the commitment have disciplined hard work make self made notes your own notes make self made notes do daily answer writing practice honest and genuine efforts if you start as ramit told if you start your preparation be honest to yourself be keep a genuine efforts if you keep your genuine efforts 100% you will get the desired results and courage and risk also why risk you have to keep your enjoyments for at least 2 years if you keep your enjoyments aside no you are going to get the success and very courageous decision this is yes i am going to work daily for 8 hours i am going to work for daily 10 hours courage and risk based decision blindly follow the mentor so if you had chosen your mentor as ramit also rightly said if you had chosen your mentor blindly follow your mentor you will get the success anyone anyone i am telling you anyone but once you decided you go blindly once you decided go blindly you will be getting the success so before the ending session the final conclusion i want to give you how to choose an academy and a mentor how to choose an academy and a mentor there are some characteristics pancha shil pancha mantra is there you have to be very careful with respect to this pancha mantra number 1 commitment of the faculty whether the faculty are committed or not whether they are commercial or whether they are service oriented whether they are genuine or not whether they are going to put the genuine efforts or not from the teacher point of view from faculty point of view also faculty also should have lot of commitment for your success so in that academy you have to take the enrollment where the faculty is committed for your success to make you as an ias or ips officer that is the first requirement second requirement track record of the academy ranks and present students reviews yes you can go and check our website www.vishnuias.com you can see lot of reviews of rankers as well as the present students who are joining with us who joined us who are writing mains who wrote mains 
all the reviews are of all the students only who are my present students our present students so join with that academy which is having a very good track record again don't join in that academy where the number is more than 500 where the number is more than 1000 they will not care about you it should be limited it should not be a beginner it should not be having a large number of students it should be a mediocre it should be very committed it should be honest it should be genuine institute so it should not be a large institute it should not be a very new beginner also it should be a middle thing whereby the accessibility of the teacher and the students should be very 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 pleasant and responsible and accountable academy you are that academy you have to choose which is responsible for your success which is accountable for your success if the academy is responsible and accountable for your success yes that is your destination to get that elite services which i explained in the beginning ias don't choose academy because of convenience choose on the lines of credibility it is very near it is beside my house it is somewhere else located in delhi it is somewhere else located in hyderabad no wherever it is it is a genuine institute it is a credible institute it is really working for the students success if it is an academy which is working for students it might be anywhere you have to enroll into it don't go for convenience don't go for comfort don't go for it is near see the credibility see the genuinity of the academy and enroll into it if not experience experience of the institute how many rankers are there faculty are how much experienced and the experience with respect to hard work how much genuine hard work they are going to keep for your success these are the factors which you have to keep in your mind these are the factors which you have to keep in your mind in order to get the success anywhere it might be anywhere to crack this examination which is this elite examination to get into this elite examination you have to be very much strong you have to be very much committed you have to be very much strong and you have to be very much determined so finally i am going to end the session here is our phone number 9400939 and this is our website www.vishnuias.com you can see our google reviews you can see our quora reviews you can see at our Facebook also Vishnu IAS Academy, at Instagram also Vishnu IAS Academy, everywhere we are available. In YouTube also you can see Vishnu IAS Academy, you can see the quality of our teachers also in our academy. Check all the videos and any query, please call this number, keep zero in front of it, why because it is an STD. So, we are ready to help you, we are ready to serve you. This is the end of the session, any queries you can ask me, please queries. How NCC certificate? Yes, NCC certificate does not have any advantage with respect to rank. But in UPSC interview, if you tell that I have NCC certificate, you will be getting more questions on NCC so that you can determine your NCC, your interview. You can get more questions from NCC. That is the only advantage because of NCC certificate. But no more extra reservation will be provided in UPSC examination for NCC candidates. How to prepare notes? from editorial page of newspaper yes only to the point we have to prepare the notes from the editorial page as i told you in the beginning first you have to start the newspaper after starting the newspaper you have to select the which editorial you are going to read from this editorial only crux summary of the newspaper only you have to write in your notes yes we had posted the link of our telegram channel please everyone join in the telegram channel you will be getting the ppt of this the PD of this and daily newspaper you will be getting freely we will be providing the newspapers and daily content also current affairs content we are providing in this particular channel. We need to focus on our main subject or GK on GK Adian in interview you have to focus mainly on GK. Last year also we conducted very good interviews before that year also we conducted very good mock interviews it is there on our YouTube channel you can see it. YouTube channel name is Vishnu IAS Academy whereby you will be getting the mock interviews. Sir, it's necessary to choose Malayalam qualifying language from those who are from Kerala? No, 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 no. You can choose Telugu also if you know Telugu. It's in India. What are all the subjects which are present in the constitution under schedule 8 of the constitution? You can choose anyone. Any Malayalam, any I can also choose Malayalam if I, I have if I have the attempt. If I know Malayalam, I can also choose Malayalam. No restriction. Any language you can choose. How can we motivate ourselves? Yes, only one thing is 
motivate ourself is why you will be having the why itself is motivating yourself why i want to become an ias officer why i want to become an a civil servant why i want to become an a police service officer why i want to become an a revenue service officer if you are why is strong automatically you will get the motivation internal motivation is certificate available yes everyone will be getting the participant certificate everyone is going to get the participant certificate within 2 3 days it will be sending to you to your respective mail ids participant certificate you are going to get sir there is one question it was it is a direct question i am btech second year how i want, how i can join your institute 100% you can call this number which i provided here this number and we will be helping you and to second year third year our course is for two years two years validity recorded videos are available for two years so you can come offline to hyderabad online is available recorded videos will be there for two years also in second year and third year you can listen the classes slowly according to your pace and final year you can write the examination our course validity is two years two years we are going to take the responsibility of you if you are in final year also before joining if you take special permission from us in written format we will be giving the permission and third year also we will be giving the accessibility to you so two years generally but on special permission third year also you will be getting the accessibility of our course so in final year also if you are second year final year also you can get the services from us sir is there any tips to balance between college studies and ups yes you daily you have to sit for 3 hours 3 hours night 9 to 12 night 9 to 12 you have to sit then remaining time you have to sit for your college timings that is enough and more daily 3 hours little bit hard work night 12 o'clock you have to be wake up so 9 to 12 3 hours is yes which books are good for ias first ncert books you have to start with ncert books which we will be providing ncert books and standard books are like for economy ramesh singh book for history spectrum book for modern india for geography ncert books for history there is one particular book called as nitin singhania that is also very good book for environment there is one particular book of barucha that is a very good book and for indian polity lakshmikanth is a book these are the major books standard books other than ncert books you have to take and you have to read those books from our institute also we will be sending you the books as well targeted books standard books we will be sending you to your address sir i am tensed about preparing this exam how to build for this exam nothing no tension first you have to be confident you have to be calm start with ncert books open the ncert books and start slowly 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 you will be reaching your target so start with ncert books if you complete ncert books you will be getting confidence and very good news for you people we started we are going to start from march 28th for 1200 rupees complete ncert course 1200 rupees complete ncert course 1200 plus gst 250 overall 1500 rupees with gst if not only 1200 rupees for ncert two months of ncert classes for 1500 including gst without gst 1200 rupees complete ncert of indian polity indian geography indian history and indian economy only to empower the student community it is a minimal maintenance charges we are taking the maintenance charges we are taking no charges for the faculty it is going to start from march 28 you can join in that ncert batch and you can see our quality and then if you want you can continue and that ncert course is enough and more why because we are going to give the live classes we will be also giving the recorded videos of all the ncert courses for 6 months validity for 200 rupees only the 200 rupees is maintenance not for faculty or not for institute how should we practice mentally and physically nothing you have to be very calm you start your ncert books and you have to start slowly 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 step by step not one day quickly daily one hour one hour then two hours then two hours then three hours maximum three hours still six months then you have to increase your time i am a graduate for someone to prepare full time how much hours are approximate yes 100% if you are a, if you are completed your graduate then you have to attempt it 8 hours you have to sit if you are undergraduate if you are preparing 3 hours you have to work any more doubts please 
for your doubts tomorrow i am going to make one video in our youtube channel subscribe it and you give you will be getting the notification also click that button bell button so that you will be getting the notifications of our videos thank you all god bless you